गुड आफ्टरनून क्लास आई होप यू ऑल आर एन्जॉइंग ऑनलाइन क्लासेस एंड यू ऑल आर डूइंग वर्क एट होम ऑल्सो एंड यू ऑल आर सेफ ओके सो क्लास स्टार्ट द सेशन टू पार्ट्स ऑफ अ कंप्यूटर सिस्टम सो इन दिस लेसन uh we'll discuss parts of computer system so means a completely all parts of the computer system like input devices output devices storage devices memory motherboards okay class so all the parts of the computer system we'll discuss in this chapter so we already be know computer is an electronic device and that can stores and process information okay so already we have discussed about the computer computer is an electronic device that stores and process all types of information and it's also help us to perform a variety of tasks such as uh, receiving any types of information and sending any types of information to your friends and family okay anywhere and also we use some uh, application software in the computer system uh, for different different purpose like uh, making a presentation so we use a powerpoint presentation make and maintaining records so maintain records means uh, we can maintain the records in you know, ms excel ms access okay and uh, relational database management system also we can use uh, right so any types of uh, records we can manage in the computer system and uh, computers also use for uh, use in education uh, field in research field broadcasting news making weather forecasts and also uh, in we can say uh, used in the railway reservation air ticketing entertainment okay and uh, medical and health checkups uh, and research in government department also so computer uses in different uh, different fields also okay so various and other businesses and recreational activities besides this also the computer used in a different different areas for different different purpose okay class and the next topic is a parts of a computer so computer has a various parts uh if we talk about a computer so there is an only one uh computer is a machine but only not a screen that is a computer there are uh, many parts and all are included uh, connected in a one and that become as a computer okay so there are many parts so can each part perform a specific function suppose that there the, uh, we use a keyboard so it is it has its own work functioning right so there are many parts okay so computer has a various part and each part has a specific function the following parts are as input devices the first if we talk about a first part is a input devices so the input devices are used to provide information to a computer using input device we can give information to a computer like if you uh, such a typing a letter or giving instructions to a computer means we are giving any types of information to a computer okay you are making a design so that is also a input right so there are many example of input devices are as follow like a mouse keyboard joystick light pen scanner ocr micr okay so these are input devices mostly we use only two input devices okay mouse and keyboard but in a different different areas we use a different different units different different devices let's be discuss one by one the first input device is a mouse a mouse is 
A standard mouse has a left and right button. Normally, we use a one mouse in a computer lab and personal uh, at home in a personal computer in office. So, we use a one device mouse. It's just shaped like as a mouse and it has a two buttons. One is a left and one is a right. And one is a center button also. Uh, that is a scroll button. Okay. And we use the left button to select items and provide instructions by clicking an area, active area on the screen. Okay. Suppose that we want to uh, open any file or folder and that file and folder on the on available on the screen on desktop screen so we can click double click on that folder or file use uh, through my mouse so by clicking on the mouse left button we can open any types of application or folder on the screen and we use the right button to display commonly used menu items on the screen and the right button we use very uh, sometime we use a right button suppose that we want to use any types of short menu okay so in that case we can use a mouse now the second is a keyboard keyboard is a also a most commonly used input device because uh, if you want to type a letter numbers application you want to fill the data records okay so without keyboard we cannot do mouse is a used to click any types of object okay but without keyboard we cannot do anything in the computer system okay so keyboard just like as a typewriter using the keyboard we can uh, type any types of letters in the computer system a set of keys that resembles a keyboard on a typewriter okay so there are number of keys are available all types of alphabets are available all types of number are available okay there are some special keys are available okay so if we talk about a keyboard so uh, keyboard has divided into the four main section first is a function keys alpha second is alpha numerical keys third is a special keys and the fourth is a uh, number number keys so all section divided okay so using the keyboard we can type a letter text okay on the computer in any application okay so the mouse and keyboard are the input unit now the next is input unit is a microphone microphone is also an input unit input device a device that we can use to talk to people in a different part of the world using the microphone we can talk any person in the world because it is an input unit we can it is an input device it we can use this device to share our voice anywhere in the world okay and it is also used to record your speech and 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 convert into the text also right so microphone is a, also the input device and it is used to store your voice in the computer system now a bit next next is a scanner okay and scanner is also the input device and it is a de device that is similar to a photocopy machine okay and it is also is just like as a printer okay a device that is a similar to a photocopy machine and using this we can use this device to transfer an exact copy of a photograph or document to a computer in the digital form okay using the scan scanner we can store our data our document our file same information same text in our computer system using the scanner we can transfer that file in a digital form. A scanner reads a page and translate it into a digital format that a computer can read. Okay. So just like as a photograph of your family using the scan. Okay. So it is also an input unit. Now the next input device is a 
bab cam okay a device that is a similar to a video camera and it allow you to capture and send with live pictures to other users okay if we want to chat with your friends if you want to chat our teacher so using the bab camera we can communicate with them okay so it allows to capture and send live picture to other users okay and the back camera we can see in a different different place in a news channel there are video conferencing going on so there are a back camera they can use for a communication okay and the person they can see to each other okay class so And the last topic is a input in a stylus it is a pointing device as similar to a pen okay stylus it's we can say it's also the pen light pen like it, it's like a light pen but it's a pointing device similar to a pen and used to make a selection and enter information by tapping on a touch sensitive surface for this we need a taping on a touch sensitive surface okay for example like a enter information of personal digital assistant pda device so we use a stylus okay so a style a pda is a lightweight and pumped up computer like so in that case we need a one device and in that device we need also the stylus okay trackball it is also point, uh, pointing device that is a an alternative to a mouse and a trackball consists of a ball that is rotated on the mouse or rotated to the move the pointer on a computer screen okay so trackball we can see on the laptop screen uh, sorry on lap laptop uh, in place of the mouse okay so the we we, uh, we use on the mouse play area now so that is a trackball there is a trackball we uh, uh, okay rotate the pointer from that place so we can see our pointer is uh, move on the move the pointer on the computer screen okay so the today class is over so today we have discussed all the input devices okay input devices are keyboard mouse okay scanner web camera stylus okay class next topic we'll discuss in the next class okay thank you